Hi guys, I'm Peter Nardi and welcome to the latest edition of Hidden Treasures. Right, so what is it I'm going to talk to you about this week? So this week I'm going to talk about an effect that um, the actual premise of this type of effect is sort of pretty synonymous with Alakazam Magic. We've had a few routines that have been released in the past that follow this particular theme. Now the theme is movies and mentalism. The first trick we released that had a movie theme was Killer Elite Pro by Andy Nyman, which is still a phenomenal effect. And then came along Simon Shaw's Fantastic Director's Cut which was an absolute game changer. It turned this type of effect more into a utility type thing that you could use for other effects than just one single routine. Now, I'm not gonna to talk to you about either of those today, but they are both really well worth checking out. The trick I'm gonna to speak to you today is a trick by Steve Dimmer, and the trick is called Screen Test. Now the beauty of screen test is when Steve first sent it to me, it was a completely different animal. It used postcards and it was sort of one phased, but it was fantastic. It not only fooled me really badly, but as soon as I received the prototype, I went out and started performing it and the reactions were crazy and even very knowledgeable magicians didn't have a clue what was going on. After the success of Screen Test, we decided to produce a smaller pack, which we called the Pocket Version, because the original, as I said, was on postcard size. Now, the Pocket Version were great because they were small enough to fit in any one of your pockets, and yet you had a great mentalism routine. Then I came up with the idea of creating what I called a Mega Pack. By creating other small packs, I could combine two to make a mega pack, which gave me more cards and it opened up all the possibilities. What I'm gonna show you now is a performance I did of two of the routines and just two of the routines, because when you buy the mega pack, I think there's about 10 different routines. Um, but this performance is taken from a very old Alakazam video blog. So take a look now. So David, mm. we're coming up to the Oscar season. Are they? Yeah, there's been a lot about it on the news recently, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to hold our own little Oscar ceremony? That'd be awesome. It would be awesome. But I believe, and I do this every year, I sit down with Jen and they tell you the nominations, and I say, oh, he's won it. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's won. And I'm always right. I can actually, it's a shame I can't bet on it, because I'd be very rich right now. Yeah. But we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna let you be the, the Oscar judge. Okay. You're going to choose the winner, right? Um, but inside here, I have a prediction in a little, lovely gold flashing envelope. gold envelope. Very good. Okay, we're going to leave that there. I've got a, a bunch of movies. Um, as you can see, every single movie is different. I'll show you guys at home as well. You will know that they are all different. Um, and what I'm going to ask you to do, Dave, we're going to give them just a little mix-up, right? And we will give them a little cut, like so. Oh. What we're going to do is, all of these people have been nominated. You're going to put them through to the next round. The way you're going to do that is you're going to pick up the cards, you're going to do a face down pile onto the table, yeah. and yep, just keep going, and they can come from the middle, the bottom, wherever you want. And whenever you want to stop dealing, you stop, and they're the people that have got through to the next round. Boom. Happy? They're all through. Okay, get rid of the rest, put them in the little box. Perfect. Pick up uh, the people, yeah. and now, uh, pick up all of them, and now we're gonna deal two alternate piles. Okay. So whittle them down even more. Yeah. And you were gonna choose a pile. The pile you choose is the pile we'll use. Oh, you're mm. a poet. Yeah. <laughs> I choose and use this one. Okay, take this card. This one? Yep, yeah. just pop it there, don't look at it just yet. Yeah. But remember, any one of these movies could have been selected. Yeah. In fact, any one of the movies, you can see they're all different, okay? Yeah. You've got some there from, uh, you've got sort of romantic movies, you've got horror movies, you've got action movies, you've got 
uh, horrors, old movies. There's tons and tons of different movies you could have went for. Different genres. Different genres of movies. And obviously, each movie has a leading man or a leading lady. I said I made a prediction in here. Right. And the prediction, if you have a look there, actually says, and the award for best actor goes to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, okay. Turn over your card. Let's see who we've got. Very good. What do you got? Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator. Very good. In fact, um, shuffle them up. Okay. What I didn't explain to you, Dave, is I've got a photographic memory. It means that anything that I see as an image, I can actually take a mental photograph of and recall that photograph at any time and it will be 100% accurate. Okay. So let me explain this. At home, I've got a huge DVD collection. I've got a mental image of that. If I walk into that room and someone's moved one of the DVDs, I will instantly know. I'll know what one's been moved, where it is, where it should be, what's in its place. If someone was to take one and it was missing, I could instantly tell, even though I've got hundreds of titles. That's quite so OCD. It, it, is, it, <laughs> it, it is a bit of a curse, but I'm going to show you how it works. What I've done is I collect these little uh, movie collector cards, which I've given you a bunch of there. Yeah. Uh, the ones I've selected to give you all represent a portion of my DVD library. Right. Okay? Um, and they all come from different sort of collections of cards. But what I'm going to ask you to do, once you're happy they're mixed, yeah. I want you to take out any one you like. You can take one out randomly or you can have a look through. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Just tell me when you've got it. I will take... Yeah, okay. And put the rest of them back in there. Okay. Now you're going to notice on the back of your movie, there's a list of every movie that's within that collection. Yeah. In a moment, I'm going to want, uh, I'm going to ask you to read out those movies. Very important you can read them out in any order. Okay. But miss out the movie you chose. And what I'll try and do is, in my image, I'll try and fill in all the blanks until there's one blank space. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So start reading them out now. Any order, but miss out your movie. Okay. Batman Begins. Predator, Gladiator, The Avengers, Nikita, 007, In For Your Eyes Only, Mad Max, A Lethal Weapon, Rambo, District 9, Fast and the Furious, Terminator, Speed, Kick-Ass, and The Expendables. Okay, um, straight away I can see that is in the, the one that's missing is in uh, sort of thrillers. I've also got it slightly, well, Thrillers, it, it's, a, it's a mixed category, it's sort of thrillers with, with action, um, and it's in the subcategory of, of cons and casinos. Um, I would say the one that's missing comes from collection number 13, is that right? Should say on the top? Yeah. Yeah, and it will be Ocean's Eleven. It is indeed Ocean's Eleven. And that is my photographic memory. Very good. Mm. That is really cool. And that is, uh, they're just two of the effects you can do with screen test. I'm honestly starting to, to believe that screen test is gonna become a whole mentalism act in my pocket. Yeah. Because um, there's so many things you can do with it. Because of the size now. I was about to say, I mean, it just opens up so many more doors yeah. and opportunities for, for different tricks and routines you can do. It, and it just packs, I mean, that is it. Yeah, you know, it really is really great. I will say that is what we call the mega pack. Okay, yeah. so that has got both the action and the original version in it. Yeah. Um, to me, this is my preferred one. This is the one I carry around because it gives you so many options and so many cards. As you can see, Screen Test Pocket is so much more than one routine. In fact, you could go out and do a whole. 15 minutes parlor performance if you own the mega pack now what the mega pack is it's two different packs of screen test and you combine them together and it allows you to do so many great mentalism routines i'm sure that when you buy the mega pack you get access to around about 10 to 12 different routines i have created for use with this pack now the great thing is you imagine you carry that small pack with you it's interesting people can relate to movies yet you can adapt almost any one of your favorite card tricks to use with the mega pack 
it really does open up all the possibilities for you. Now, it's great when you're doing mentalism with things like movies, it goes a lot deeper than just the movie title. If someone's seen the movie you're talking about, you can ask them to imagine a scene. You can start describing scenes from the movie. So it really does sort of open it up as a mind reading piece. Now, the great thing about screen test is there isn't any extensive memory work that you have to do because depending what routine you do, the cards actually tell you exactly what you need to know. Um, and your spectator actually tells you, which is really clever. Now, I love mentalism, and everyone knows when Alexan first started, even though we sold a lot of magic, we were very, very known for mentalism, and people would uh, treat us as their go-to mentalism place. Mentalism is still a very big love of mine, personally, so I'm always looking for great mentalism tricks, and you're gonna see that we have got so many new releases coming out. In fact, one of them is a movie-based mentalism utility pack which is coming out later on this year so keep your eyes open for that but if you enjoyed screen test and i will tell you any magician of any level can perform the effects that i teach on there if you enjoyed it click that little information button up there that will take you to the mega pack that will be exactly what you need to perform all these fantastic great new effects now, before I end up today's little show, I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that big thumbs up and leave a comment as well. And if you have a favorite mentalism utility that you use, let me know what it is. Have you got a trick that you've created far more from it than just the basic trick you originally purchased? And that's something that I really love with magic and I love looking, especially with the effects we release, I like really getting into the trick and seeing how far I can push it in what different directions. And can I create more than just the one effect out of the props that I have? I could go out and perform a whole set with nothing more than just the screen test mega pack. Honestly, Steve Dimmer's screen test is absolutely amazing and I know you're gonna love it. But like I said, whatever routines that you have that you like in mentalism and that you've added a bit more to, let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested to hear your ideas. So that's it for this week's Hidden Treasures. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time.